home stretch of winter and it certainly was a warm and wet one across central and eastern Kentucky. So let's take a look back at how, how all those predictions stacked up. Now the uh, NOAA forecast said that a weak El Nino was going to be developing. Typically that has little impact on the forecast through the winter months in Kentucky. Meanwhile, the Farmer's Almanac said it was going to be a straight up warm and rainy winter. The Woolly Worm said it was going to be cold, then mild, then cold again. And of course, Punxsutawney Phil predicted in early spring. Now temperature wise, we were on the warmer side with an average temperature of 39, making it the 11th warmest stretch from December 1st until now. In terms of precipitation, we picked up just under 20 inches during that stretch and snowfall was about half of that. Since November 1st, we pick up have picked up 9.8 inches of snow. So all in all, Things were a little bit milder. NOAA, Farmer's Almanac, more uh, true, I guess you could say, as we did see some rainier conditions. Meanwhile, the woolly worm and the groundhog, not right at all. As in fact, we saw our cold spell in the middle of winter. But now we're starting to turn the tide and looking closer to spring. It was a great weekend for us. We were dry from start to finish. We had lots of sunshine and it's so quiet in downtown Lexington. This is a live look now from our St. Joseph Health weather bug camera atop the 21C Museum Hotel. We do have a few clouds out there, but those will gradually be thinning out as we go through the overnight hours and it is starting to get chilly. Temperatures have fallen into the upper 30s across northern Kentucky. It's the low 40s here in the bluegrass. Meanwhile, down south, temperatures are still sitting in the mid 40s and tomorrow it is going to be seasonally chilly. We're going to be about 10 degrees cooler than where we were this afternoon with highs only in the mid 40s. But that's just a temporary setback because we are going to be warming things back up through the rest of the week and really right on cue as spring will officially begin on Wednesday whenever the sun is directly over the equator. That will happen Wednesday evening just before six o'clock and typically or at least on the vernal equinox we see equal parts daylight and darkness at the equator. But today actually was the equal Equinox here in Lexington as we saw in 12 hours of daylight and now 12 hours of darkness on the max track live Doppler. We've been quiet all weekend long, but to our north, there was a weak clipper system that passed by bringing some St. Patrick's Day snow to Indianapolis all through central Ohio. That system is now starting to fizzle out as it moves into West Virginia and Western Pennsylvania looking farther upstream. Nothing to talk about. That's thanks to high pressure. It's going to be moving in on the back side of that departing low and cold front. Now that cold front not bringing us anything in the form of precipitation, but instead that change in air mass leading to that chilly start to the upcoming week. But then as high pressure and begins to work its way eastward, more favorable winds will be moving in. That's going to push temperatures back up. Now come the middle of the week, there will be a little bit of a wrinkle in our dry stretch as another system will be passing by just to our northeast. That will be ushering in a small chance for showers, but that holds off until late in the day Wednesday, even Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Outside of that, that is it for rain chances. We are going to keep those rain chances relatively low as we continue through the rest of the upcoming work week. So tonight it is going to be getting cold as temperatures will drop back into the upper 20s under clear to partly cloudy skies. Your work week gets started seasonally chilly 46 for a high skies become mostly sunny, but for the rest of the week, our high temperature starts with fives. We're in the low 50s Tuesday, mid 50s on Wednesday and those set back on Thursday again with those few showers, especially into the morning. Then we'll push 60 come Friday over the weekend, feeling very spring like but another round of showers will be possible on Sunday and looking ahead to the following Monday.